As it turns out, I was wrong. That's really hard to say because I've only been wrong since once since, I don't know. I know I was wrong in 20 odd seven, okay? That one stung, probably haven't been wrong since. But I am wrong about one thing now and that's prepping. I used to believe preppers were pretty fringy, pretty far over there on one side or the other. They were, you know, panicky people. But once you saw there was no toilet paper left and no bottled water left and no other stuff, preppers were like, <laughs> look at this, I got stuff. So I'm urging you guys to be mini preppers. I mean, you don't have to go clean out Walmart. You don't have to go clean out a grocery store or hardware store to be prepped. All you have to do is keep Beans, beans, and bullets. And no, these aren't beans or tomatoes, but just work with me, okay? So if you have beans and bullets, it's an old cowboy saying, beans and bullets, you'll be fine. So when you go to the store and you get a can of soup, just pick up two. If you get a chance to get some ammo, maybe just pick up two. Just make sure you have enough, that's all. You don't have to have hoarder stocks of, you know, can't see over the top of the mounds of stuff in my basement prepping, but be ready. These supply chain disruptions and stuff are coming your way and are coming your way fast. So that's my advice to you. Take it, don't take it. I'm just saying, I think that preppers had it dialed in way before the rest of us because they know the value of beans and bullets. Okay. Peace be with you kids. Keep an eye on your six. Keep your cell phone down in the parking lot. Watch what you're doing. Watch where you're going. Watch other people. It's going to get a little crazier than it is now, believe it or not. All right. Be good.